Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a life update with Nicole Beauty with a little sneak peek at my closet I've been building and my birthday recap in Napa. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, so we are gonna do a little recap first with Nicole Beauty. I have some announcements that I would like you to know about and it's not been on a newsletter because I'm in a very interesting situation right now. I am moving. So we've been out of the house for two and a half, no, over two years and we're moving, but guess what? I haven't packed a thing. <laughs> I haven't packed anything, uh, we're moving, and I, I don't know if it's really like set in yet because I have so many deadlines when it comes to brands for November, and I have my regular YouTube videos that I have every Monday and Thursday, and I really wanna stay on schedule. And, you know, I just came off of this whole six weeks of working at the warehouse and palette wrapping and getting everything ready. Just to recap, very short, if you haven't seen what happened in Labor Day weekend, I don't ever want to revisit that again, but I had to rent a U-Haul to take my packages to the USPS because they wouldn't come and pick up. The second I returned that U-Haul, I made a phone call. I made an executive decision to start the process of onboarding with a 3PL, which is a third party logistics, and they will be shipping for us. So we had been in talks with them for over a year. And I was going to wait until first quarter because I thought, oh no, we can do it. We can get through this, what have you. No. We weren't happy. You weren't happy. It was so much chaos that I was like, we're just not going to do this. I want my customer to be happy. I want them to have multiple different options with carriers. We're going to go and we're going to do this. But it's very scary, ladies. Like I've worked so hard and then I'm packing up my inventory and sending it off, you know, to someone that I have to trust and trust is going to be done right. I mean, I'm willing to do it. But I have to tell you, I did film it and I was like, oh my gosh, like I went out to the truck. I mean, this is silly. He probably was like, oh my gosh, this girl. But I had to have him sign my paperwork. And so I said, <laughs> one of my girls <laughs> said, don't do donuts now with, <laughs> with our inventory. He's like, don't worry. And then I was like, well, don't go over any speed bumps because <laughs> you'll ruin everything. Like you'll ruin all of my product. And he was like, don't worry. I don't go over speed bumps. I mean, it was just silly. I just think I felt better saying it, but this is something we, we have done because we knew it was time. So that's what's been happening. Hence why I look, you know, I do look a little frazzled. I also hired a new customer service team. And I wanted this for you because it's so much, it's very needed. I wanted email, live chat, and phone for you seven days a week. I'm onboarding now, I'm doing trainings, I'm doing live trainings with my team. It takes time, so please be patient. I'm announcing this now so you know what's coming, but I'm in the midst of doing this. So we're in the midst of getting all of our inventory to the 3PL so you'll have fantastic shipping faster. And then we are doing the customer service, so a lot of new things, but it does take a little bit of time. Should be sooner than later, but I just wanted to let you know. The last launches are happening also. The concealers have launched completely amazing formulation. You're going to love it. My blush sticks that I have, St. Bart's and Palm Beach have launched, should be launching if you don't see it this week. I have two colors, beautiful formulation, soft, glowy on the skin, not sticky and glossy. And then BB cream. I just received my final bulk samples and they're incredible. This means ladies, this is good news. Anytime I get the final bulk samples means we're on track. So we will have this in November. So those are the, the real updates. I do want to say, I've never mentioned this before. I'm just waiting for the eye brightener. It's ready. I'm just waiting for the paperwork for the shipping. So that would mean that I've recreated and come out with new products like creme brulee we never had in the line. I have recreated my entire Nicole Beauty line from the primary packaging to the secondary packaging to the formulations, etc. I have to tell you, I have to take a step back and say, wow, you really did it. Because in first quarter 2022, I didn't think this line was going to be possible. I really didn't. And I had two different experiences that happened to me. I won't get into them, but the first one was, and I truly believe this in my heart, ladies, if I wasn't a woman, this would never have happened to me. I wouldn't have been spoken to the way I was. I wouldn't have been treated the way I was, I had to really take a step back and compartmentalize this experience because I wouldn't have normally done that. I would have sat in it. I would have meditated on it. I would have sat and been angry, frustrated. I would have allowed it to ruin my vision. And so I said, it doesn't matter how much I lost. I'm going to focus on looking forward. And that's what I did. And here and there, it would come up in my mind. And I was like, you know what? I'm shutting it out. 
It's not important. I will never let that experience ruin my line. Then I had another experience in the same quarter, <laughs> different situation, and it stopped the development of what I was doing. And I thought to myself, Nicole, this is just because they are the wrong people and they shouldn't be breathing new life into this line. That's how I looked at it. And I was just open to the right people. I knew God was going to guide my line and why I was doing this to make women feel incredible, to make mature women be seen and feel like they had a place here for education on my channel. That's free twice a week with everything that I know as a licensed esthetician, professional makeup artist. I have done this my entire life. And this is the reason why I love my, I don't even want to call it a job. It's really my life as an esthetician, as a makeup artist, I, I touch women. I can change the way they feel and the way they look. And I, I just have had so much gratification being able to do this. My fierce aging series is so important to me. It's coming back. And even if I just have it the way it looks right now, and I set up my little, you know, makeup station, I'll do it because it's about the makeup. It's about how you feel. It's about sharing your story with my audience. That's what it's about. It's not about the most beautiful set and what have you it, that will come. But once I get through everything else, what we're doing, we are going to get back to that. Anyway, that is the update with Nicole beauty. Now onto the really exciting part. I've been building my closet for ever. And here I have a picture. I was looking for it in my phone from January of this year. And here I am in the midst of like, <laughs> is this ever going to come together? Now, remember my husband and I built our closet and our bathroom because we knew we'd be filming in it. I mean, this is what I do. So this is another reason why it looks the way it does. I'm going to do a whole dedicated video on before and after. I'm going to share with you the company that we used and I wanted to support an American company. I wanted to support a family owned business and I'm going to be sharing that too. But this is really incredible because I have been asked for so long to share my closet, to show all of my vintage designer outfits. I do everything on consignment, meaning I buy secondhand. So that's what I do. So my closet's very curated. It's very special pieces that I've picked out and I've either worn for whatever events, for my videos, for, you know, whatever I'm creating, I'll reconsign them or I keep them because I find them to be that special. And I don't want, you'll never be able to find this again. Like some of my vintage Oscar de la Renta, you won't be able to find again. So I keep, I, I hold on to it because it's that special to me. So my closet is coming together. I'm very, very thrilled. We literally left for Napa. They were starting the closets and we came back and it was done. And it's just everything that we thought it would be and more. We've spent so many meetings designing and doing all of the logistics. And I think it's a really great thing. I thought it might not be a great thing, but I think it's a great thing that we were doing the warehouse renovations at the same time as the house renovations at the same time as doing the cosmetic line. So when I've mentioned three different life-changing experiences, I really mean it. But I think being in the mode of having to make decisions, 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 I'd never really had decision making fatigue. It was part of the process. All at once we were making so many decisions and having to design, designing the line, designing the house, designing the warehouse. So we were in this mode. It wasn't like we took a break and we were like, okay, oh no, I know I have to make another decision. We've been making decisions. So it's been kind of like you get into that, that kind of, this is the mode right? Oh, we got to make decisions. We have problems. What do we do? Okay. We need to pivot. Oh, this should never have happened. Oh my gosh. Like, what do we do? So we've been conditioned to constantly be moving and pivoting and trying to take on like the fact that there's so many mistakes. So don't go into manufacturing or building a home, renovating home and not think that there's going to be problems and, and more problems than you ever thought there was going to be. So I'm going to be just really excited about sharing it needs a whole dedicated video. And then we happened to go to Napa last week for a week. It's harvest season, which just happened to be actually they pushed it out a week, but beautiful. I mean, it was just such a, an amazing time. It happened to land on my birthday. Now the whole reason this came up was is that my husband turned 50 in January. So we had a trip planned, but the whole house thing and everything was going on. We were like, how can we go away and relax? Like this is not the right time. So we canceled it. And then he called me, you know, maybe a couple of weeks later and says, you know, I really want to go. I would really love to go back to Napa. I said, well, if that's what you want, like, let's do it. And so we were supposed to go in September. And then 
something happened where we needed to move it into October and it happened to land on my birthday. So I said, I don't know if it's going to be really your birthday anymore. <laughs> my birthday was uh, October 13th. So it was Friday the 13th. So it was like extra, extra lucky and special. It turned out that we celebrated our birthdays together. So every everywhere we went, we were like, you know, it was always us together. The one day though, it was just me. And then we went back to my husband's birthday, what have you. It was really fun. But it was nice to put myself in this little bubble of I'm not thinking about anything else. Napa really is like this completely different world. Like you're in, you're in a different world. You're in like this little capsule. And it was really, really nice and really unexpected. We haven't traveled for vacation in four years. The last trip we took was for my birthday in October of 2019. So we really, really enjoyed ourselves, even though we have a lot going on. It was really nice. And I'm very mindful of the people I'm with and trying to film everything. I did a lot of content, I did share, but I'm also very mindful that that's, you know, living in the present moment and really enjoying it and not always being on a phone or trying to do stuff and what have you. I didn't want that. And I think it's a very hard line for content creators because I think they're expected to share everything or constantly be putting out content. And I really wanted to share what I wanted to share and then really soak up the the time that I was there and being on these, you know, mountaintops overlooking this vi this family's vineyard and having this private tasting. I mean, those are incredible times that, you know, you can't get back. You you know, this is the time to enjoy it and to really be there and be present with the people you are with. And that's what I did. So I really I really enjoyed myself. I really I just had such an incredible time. It was so needed. And now it's back to reality and moving and sharing more content with you and my life experiences. This is going to be quite an incredible move um, because of how long it's been. And, you know, just being able to share properly my style and my beauty and having the right lighting. I have zero lighting here in this apartment and it's been a little bit challenging. So I wanted to just kind of update you with the line, with just taking a little birthday trip away, cross country, just so incredible. And then really going to be showing you the closet and really, you know, cause it's basically my life style and beauty. So I hope you liked a little bit of an update of what's going on with me. And until my next video, I'll see you later.